This is the soda fire that happened in August of 2015. I'm part of the uh, emergency stabilization and rehabilitation team and we're out here doing reseeding efforts. And this is the first wave for the emergency stabilization, kind of the broad strokes. And these are steps that we're taking toward um, being able to have the potential for sage grouse habitat out here. Um, stabilization uh, efforts are important and it's been a program in uh, BLM for a, a, lot of, a lot of years. Um, first and foremost, it's soil stabilization and then stabilization also includes uh, the uh, spread of invasive species. So after a fire, it's kind of like an open pallet out here that we have uh, the potential to come in and get desirable perennial species that will help not only stabilize soils on site, but will be competitive against uh, the invasive species in the long run. Uh, here we're doing drill seeding. Uh, it's our most effective tool for re-establishing uh, perennial grasses. One of our challenges is weather, of course, trying to get this done before winter sets in. Uh, usually we can run till uh, late November, early December, just depending on the year and where we are. Uh, we tend to try and start with the most inaccessible places first and higher elevation places and then work down to where weather will be a less of an issue so we can work longer. Overall, we're putting about 2.4 million pounds of seed on this fire between drill seeding and aerial seeding, grasses, forbs, and sagebrush. And to put that in perspective, that's over 50 semi-loads. The fire did impact both Oregon and Idaho. Um, so a very collaborative effort going to the start with the ESR and we've kept up momentum um, with the partnerships across the landscape, um, managing both state lands, BLM lands, private lands, uh, Fish and Wildlife Service has been integral in the, in the process as well in trying to get our treatments to be um, adopted across the landscape. 